How's it going everybody and welcome to my very first episode of Lies of P Demo. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Uh, just found out that there is a demo and well, I think the demo just came out a few days ago, but we are here, we're gonna play it. And if you don't know, it is a, like the gist of it is, is a Pinocchio Souls-like game. But don't get it mistaken, it's not like Pinocchio, it's like brutal Pinocchio. And I am excited to hop into this. In honor of the great writer, Carlo Collodi. Can you hear me? Yes. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. I think that's me. I'm Geppetto's puppet. Oh gosh, this looks so good. I'm so excited. The full Mom, game. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. I think it comes out in September. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I also think it's coming to Game Pass, maybe? Jimmy starts soon. I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot and I'll explain what's happening. Jimmy, hey. please escort him to the hotel. I got Jiminy Cricket. Do not be afraid if eh, I didn't read that. What did it? Uh, on to Hotel Crot. Look at the, the puppet show. Like, that art style is so cool. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. Left arm of steel. Is this my first weapon right here? But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Can I take the wrench? All right, so we got path of the cricket. Uh, my foot itches. Okay, so we've got path of the cricket, which is balanced. Path of the bastard, which is dexterity. And path of the sweeper, which is strength. Me personally, I'm not much of a two-handed weapon slow guy. I like to be fast and agile, but at the same time, I like to be able to parry. I don't know if parrying is a thing in this game, but um, I think balanced is good until I figure out how I want to play this. Just a demo. Always go back through and try the other ways out. Good. Gracious, that's loud. Okay. Look at the enemy design. I I don't know how to Okay, it's right bumper. So if it's right bumper, I might have to switch to my PS5 controller because my right bumper on my Elite doesn't always want to work. And if that gets me killed, let's get tossed. I'm really hoping this isn't too loud. I guess if it is, you guys can turn it down. Okay. 
You guys can't see it, but under my fat head, I got... Well, actually, let's just move this. There. Now you can see what I assume are my souls count. Yeah. That's a good place for my fat noggin. Uh, pulse cell. Use a pulse cell to recover health points. There's a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum number, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will, gra will be gradually charged. Goodness. Too early. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning over here. Already making me try to read. I just want to kill things. Oof. Oh shit. Can I parry? Uh, not really a parry, it's just a block. What's a sawtooth wheel I just... Them ergo fragment. Wait, so that's just a lantern. What the fuck is that? Does it sharpen my blade? What? And that punches. Okay. Press the button. <laughs> Don't press the button. Can I sprint? Switch me on. Give me a minute. Huh. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, you guys can see it. Um, Jiminy. Show me the way. Not showing me the way. This looks bloody. I hear heavy feet. Uh, these pictures look pretty pristine in such a rundown place. Look at these uh, urinals. I don't know what that thing is either. The red thing. Can we stealth kill? Oh, he didn't do that. I must not have been close enough. Use belt. Activate the upper belt slot, activate the lower belt slot, use selected item. Okay. Hold down A to activate the extra bag. Equip items and gestures and the extra... Okay. I... Okay, I still don't know what that red disc is. A grand exhibition. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Definitely make sure to keep clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. 
I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive, anyone. So go to the waiting room, that's what you said to do? Obviously. Wait, while dashing? He didn't jump. Oh shit, there's another guy. Maybe I'm confused on... On how to jump. What's it? Oh, it's like while I'm sprinting. Okay. There are doors and ladders through a carat that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. I think this is the door that zapped me earlier. And there's the puppet smashing things. I need to heal. I don't know what those other gauges are. I, I don't remember. Okay. Fuck it. We're just gonna go into it. He's not bad. Oh, Jesus, dude. I might die. I died. <laughs> I, got, I tried to get too fancy. I was trying to learn or trying to like use my arm and stuff. It's fine. We're fine. Oh, his loading bar is the nose. How clever. Oh, put me all the way back here. While you're attacking, a white outline will appear around the enemy's health bar. Um, health points bar. When this happens, you can make the enemy groggy with a charge attack with Fable. Okay, that's what that was. I don't know what Fable arts are. Uh, fatal attack. Face a groggy enemy plus right bumper. Fatal attack can be for performed on enemies who are groggy. Okay. Hopefully... That shortcut is still there. And I'm gonna see... What's my left arm do? Just another attack. There's a salt tooth wheel again. I don't know what that stuff is. So if you do block at a certain time, it does, it's different. I don't know how to explain it. Like instead of a small dink, it's a heavy dink. I don't know what to do with this ergo. Like that, see the heavy dink? Ha! 
You're supposed to get groggy. No. Oh. Central station, main entrance, key, and something else. Can be equipped from equipment. Sawtooth wheel again. Okay. Equipment. Defense parts. Is this what I just got? Pinocchio looking good, my boy. I have an amulet. Oh. Okay, so what's going on here? Can disassemble. What's that mean? Is that whenever? Man, I'm I'm confused. What's this do? Immediate character death upon use. Okay, so it's good I didn't try to use that. Um, so, a special device that releases all of the Pinocchio organs energy. P organs energy at once. Dies upon use. The old man feared the possibility of his son not awakening properly and going into a frenzy. This initialization device was made an, as a necessary evil for delicate adjust readjustments. I can get this guy a top hat. Not this guy, Pinocchio. Yeah, so I'm just confused on the... I'm just confused on the left bumper plus Y and the Y. Like, what did that just do? And then this. I can sharpen my blade. I'll figure it out as I go. What's with the music? Attack enemies with a weapon to charge your pulse cells. I feel like this is when it really begins. Look at all this. I love this, this um, setting, aesthetic, whatever you wanna call it. Dark, rainy, creepy, very Bloodborne-y. Which, fun fact, I've tried Bloodborne and I could not get past like the first boss. Embarrassing, I know. I'll go back to it at some point. Stargazer, use a stargazer to fully recover HP and stamina, as well as charge your pulse cells. You will revive at this point upon death. Remember, the, this process also revives enemies, not just... Okay, so this is like a bonfire from this Souls games. It's called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather air, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. I just noticed that guy hanging. So we got vitality, vigor, capacity, motivity, technique, and advance. I'm pretty sure vigor 
Well, it tells us, won't it? Yeah, stamina. Vitality is health. Motivity is my attack. So I think that's fine. We'll do vitality. What's capacity do? Oh my, okay, I can carry more. And motivity. Okay. Boy, okay, so a cogwheel that is common sight and crot, it can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Even worthless items can be useful if you collect them. Everything become became useful in a battle in the paralyzed city. These are like Okay, I can bust these and get Ergo. Catalysts made puppets more efficient by circulating Ergo energy within their bodies. This is a groundbreaking invention. Okay, so that's like a buff. And then that's... Okay, I can throw that. Alright, here we go. Into... Oh, okay, so it's a perfect card. And I did not do that at all. I don't know how long this demo is, but I'm going to just power through the whole thing, I think, if I can. If it doesn't get too hard for me. But so far, it's not been bad. Oh. I was like on the ground. Oh, there's dogs. I don't know why that surprises me that there's dogs. Got another catalyst. Oh no. What's this? Crot times issue 183. The crot. Is it crot? Crot, right? Crot? Crot, crot? Everywhere crot? Grand exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The, the occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Benigni Company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. How about let's not make evil freaking robots or puppets? A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant which is the control protocol of the pup workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy creating more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Cross Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. So, it takes a puppet to kill the puppets. That's what's going on here. I'm a real boy. Actually. <laughs> how come it doesn't do the fatal? Like how close do I gotta be?
Do I need to equip that to my belt? Ah. And then the lower belt. I guess I'll put this on. That's a real interesting mechanic. I need to use my left arm more too, whatever that does. Seems like it's pretty strong. What happens if I... Oh, there we go. There's the cool moves I was been told about. So I can't use my left arm anymore. Can I still sharpen? Yes. So maybe my left arm is just like stronger than my normal attacks. I'm really trying to advertise this puppet show. This place seems so big. Use blade farts. <laughs> While guarding, use handle fable arts. Okay. Oh, this is this is the left bumper Y stuff. Okay, so it's fable arts. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own fable art. Fable arts use up fable slots, and different fable arts use a different number of slots. Charge fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Okay. But that... Why did it turn me around? Well, that's... Well, okay, so it's like special moves. There we go. That's what I was trying to do to the other guy. But I gotta hold it in, apparently. Look at this, we're learning things. I'm learning things. Is this chimney talking? Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, somebody's shooting stuff at me. Oops. That's what I meant to do. This guy's missing a head. 
Apparently he doesn't need one. Now I am running very low. Will he see me? For the red X. And it never gave me the option. Stop sign guys suck. The Niganese urgent repair tools? Oh, what's that? Instantly repairs weapon durability. I assume instead of uh, doing this, it instantly fixes it. Using my arm is so much cooler though. Uh. So it does kind of um, stun them a little bit, a perfect block. It seems like it stunned him anyways. No, not him, not that time. I need another stargazer. Okay, or checkpoint, that works. That's what this is, right? A checkpoint? Yes. Stargazer's back here. I think we do vitality again. You can just never have too much health. And I really don't want to just keep that, um... Damn it. I don't want to keep all those fragments or whatever on me either. I, souls? I don't know what they're called. I can't remember. Oh shit. Be careful. That's a pretty dress, ma'am. It was. hit me yes if you couldn't tell by my pictures I like clowns kind of I think they're creepy more specifically Pennywise like I don't know yeah need to move that so you guys could see it more uh, not that it really matters but anyways yeah I like Pennywise that's a Pennywise picture. That's a Pennywise picture. And... Yeah. Pennywise is on that picture too somewhere. But anyways, I like...
creepy clowns and creepy things. And he's got a big belly button. And let's see what this guy's got going on for us. Hello there. Looks Welcome like a merchant. To Karat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Out here alone? What can I buy? I can buy the weapons that I didn't get. <clears throat> Try those out. Oh, it tells me fabled the fable arts is storm stab and guard parry. The one that I have is storm slash and concentrate. This is a link slash and absolute defense. So actually, I think I would rather have this. I just something about parrying ever since I've played Sekiro. I love trying to parry. Let's try this. Uh, throwing cell. A large output battery that can be thrown inflicts electrical blitz damage at the area of impact. After the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance in their own desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured and these exhibited excellent results. Temporarily imbues weapon with electric bullets. That's cool. I'm gonna one of these bad boys. All right. And then let's use these. No, let's not. Let's not because we don't want to go into this boss fight. I assume it's a boss fight because she just said that there's a big puppet guarding the gate. So let's not use these. Let's put that there, that there. And then I want to use this instead. Oh, I can have both. How do I switch? In game, how do I switch? Okay, it's the D pad. Cool. We're learning things. We're gonna go low first. Introducing the parade puppet. Is that the guy I'm about to go fight? Here appears a terrific puppet who will enliven, enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable pup parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there. I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. That's what they sound like, if you guys didn't know. Um, there's a, another new game coming out, which uh, today is June 12th. Yesterday was the Xbox Showcase. It's called like Clockwork something or other. That looks really cool too. It's like the same setting, same vibe they got going on. Very Bioshock Infinite-ish. Looks pretty cool. I'll have to give that a whirl when it comes out. How do I do that? Goodness gracious. 